All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about some water filtration, purification, and kind of water management stuff from my PSK, ultimately. So today, without any further ado, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram, it all means a ton. And now let's talk about some water purification and water collection stuff. So before we jump into this guy right here and talking about some of this stuff, uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about is another survival or piece of survival equipment or even just camping and outdoor equipment that I do use a lot in tandem with the PSK and in outdoor excursions. And that is, of course, the Grail Geopress. Many people have talked about these. Very big YouTubers have uh, uh, ranted and raved about these guys, but they are really nice. And whether you get the larger version like this or the smaller Geopress, they are really fantastic options. And the water filter on these guys is actually pretty solid. So it does a lot more than just your standard kind of um, water, water filters. It does uh, remove chemicals and viruses as well, if I remember correctly. So that's pretty cool. In addition to that too, the Geopress is one of my favorite features to it is the fact that this does serve as a water bottle. So above all else, you can fill this. You can of course purify stuff and have water ready to go. This isn't a system like other water filters where so the nice thing about this system is you can have good clean water instead of just filtering at the point of dirty water and you know cleaning kind of like how a, a life straw would work or something along those lines you know where you if you have water here you can filter it as you actively drink it this filters the water and that means you have clean water in addition because this is a full water bottle not just a water filter um, you can also fill this with clean water drink that water and when you need to refill it and go so it's very handy for those regards um, it is just overall a really awesome pretty it's a really awesome tool very useful and a piece of equipment that i try to make sure i have if i am going into the backwoods and dealing with water purification needs so it's the grail geopress and it is one of my frontline pieces of equipment in that regard all right so when it comes to my actual psk what i carry inside of it is far more streamlined starting off i do carry a few plastic bags for water collection but those are in very small kind of sandwich size bags that can be easily folded and compacted while they are smaller they are far more durable and far easier to reuse but for the most part when it comes down to it the primary backbone of my water purification system uh, just simple aqua tabs potable aqua or these ones in particular but they're just iodine tablets and a good old condom and the reason why of course an unlubed condom and the reason why is because if you are good with these you are reasonably careful with them you can put up to a liter of water in one of these guys and purify it with these iodine tablets and so while you can't necessarily you know do everything you want with that system it does allow you to get a good amount of water for purification now of course when it comes to iodine tablets and making water uh, safe to drink you do want to try to find the cleanest water you possibly can and there are a few things that i have in here to help with that of course i do have a bandana in here to help kind of act as a filter for you know debris and particulates um, because your iodine tablets at least from a biological level are not going to do a super good job at you know killing bacteria that may be present on things such as you know decaying leaves or debris so you do want to make sure that you pre-filter your water as much as possible before the iodine tablets and then of course fill it up as or fill up get as much water as you reasonably can in addition to that a few other options that i have in here that are not as easily accessible but that are in here is that i do have a good amount of tin foil or aluminum foil and that can be crafted into a small a cup like uh, container for holding water and in that regard you can't necessarily put aluminum foil directly on fire but you can take rocks heated rocks and put them into water to help kill pathogens and make your water safer to drink ultimately not the perfect method but it is yet another method for water collection and of course purification 
All right, guys, so that is primarily what is located in my personal survival kit and around my personal survival kit for specifically water purification, filtration, and collection as a whole. Hopefully you enjoyed learning some of the methods that I use and methods for collecting water. Of course, water is a very important, very critical thing for survival. Um, it is not the most critical, but it is still an important task to deal with and have the right equipment to uh, facilitate its collection and purification. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.